engineer 775 here playing around with our car charging station charging on solar and batteries with this Porsche Taycan 4S it's all electric it's a loaner car while well, we have having some tires put on ours um, so I asked if I could have the 4S and they gave it to me so it's all-wheel drive and this is a courtesy vehicle it's not mine so don't get crazy and uh but it is awesome look how wide them tars are this thing will give you a chiropractic adjustment just step on it and she is a rocket so i really wanted to test out our charge point car charging station that we've used for the prius for five years it was not an issue plugged right in and with that i had a baseline of three and a half kilowatts and now i'm pulling almost 14 kilowatts so i'm I'm going to say 10 kW is going in the car, but I'm not using any grid. I'm just charging with solar and my batteries. So solar and batteries charging the Taycan, and it's a very cloudy day as you can see. But uh, So we're just kind of, I wanted to kind of evaluate, uh, you know, a Tesla. Um, this is a much nicer car than the Teslas. The build quality on a Porsche is extremely better than a tesla so but this is just a loaner car so i think this is their strategy to try to sell these things once you're in this and you drive it and you're like oh my goodness it's so nice one thing i don't like is well it's cool you walk up to it and the handles open up because i got the key fob on me is this b pillar is quite forward it's panameras are the same way the Titans. For some reason, once you're in the car, it's absolutely roomy, plenty of headroom. Um, but for big fat walruses to try to get in here, it's not that much fun. But I can get in. <laughs> so just showing you the interior. Anyway, I just have this for the day while I'm getting our little Cayman, some new tires. I say ours, it's more like Elijah's engineer, little engineer 775's car. He's stolen it, haven't you? Maybe. He stole it, you stole it. So, um, anyway, we brought it home to show his mother as the Prius is pretty much end of, not end of life, but getting there. So we're looking at other options for transportation. I really prefer a hybrid, but there's not a lot of good hybrids out there. And this is all electric, 250 mile range, more like 225 if you play around at all. So cool car, all electric. The Porsche Taycan 4S, and we're charging it now, having a little fun. I'm gonna take my wife for a ride, see if she'll drive it, see if she likes it. It's cool, they have charging ports on both sides, so you can, no matter where you pull up to a charging station, you can get that both sides. You can do it on 120 volt as well, but it'll probably take forever to get it charged. So, we're dumping some juice in this baby right now off of the two Solar 15Ks. So it's just a little practical application of using our solar system and no grid to provide free transportation. Free, right? You believe that that's free? No. I think these are about $110,000, $115,000 new. So um, um, anyhow, again, it's not our car. Just doing a little public service announcement, doing a little fun video. Let me know what you think. We've uh, I've always been a Porsche fan, believe it or not. So our little Cayman GTS is in the shop getting some front tires because that that 16 year old boy of mine just kind of likes to drive it too much. Okay, we're doing a little test here to see if we can go into launch con launch control activated. Here we go with a Taycan. Let's see what you can do. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, baby. It's too good to be true. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to set up for launch control here. I'm going to look at the time on the clock. We're launch control activated. Three, two, one. 15 seconds. Yeah, that is impressive. So I think somebody at Porsche wanted to make sure they beat everybody at the stoplight. <laughs> they must have been racing for pink slips. But anyway, so very impressive. This is an all-electric Taycan 4S all-wheel drive. 
uh, beast and uh, we charged it a little bit on solar good job kid and so I'm just waiting on a call so what else can we try it's got all sorts of crazy climate control it's high tech but it's comfortable and it's fast and it's crazy fast hey you make the phone fall out of my hand Okay, here's the screen uh, capture of charging the Porsche Taycan. And we started with a base of around 3,000, 3,200 watts, and we're up to 14,743 on this. You see another bounce up here. So um, nice to see. It's a not a very good day. Uh, we're not making a lot of power. But um, you can see how we are charging from multiple sources, from solar, from battery, from grid and from a set of microinverters. So just doing a little car charging experiment and with a car that actually could really pull some juice. And that's what we're doing right now. Anyway, I will uh, sign it off from just a little having fun time here on the farm. See ya.